Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about pulmonary perfusion or blood supply in the lungs. And blood supply in the lungs is a bit special because it follows a certain pattern. So here we have two main important issues that we have to know. The first thing is that we have to put gravity into consideration and that the systemic perfusion of the lung is a low pressure venous system. A low pressure venous system. What does that mean? It means that it's more dependent on the pressures of the veins or the passivity of the blood flow. So the blood flow is a very important factor in the process of the perfusion of the lungs. It's also a very good index for the cardiac function. So it's a cardiac index. If we have a good perfusion of the lungs, that means that the flow coming from the heart is fine, which means that the cardiac function is okay. So what do we get from all of this? We can distribute the lung into three zones. Gravity-wise, so we have one, two, and three. The three zones are called west zones. That explain to us the differences in the perfusion systems of the lung. Now we have three pressures that we have to bear in consideration. The first one is the alveolar pressure with a capital A, alveolar pressure, and the other two are hydrostatic pressures. So we have hydrostatic pressures here. The arteriolar and the venous pressure. So the pressure in the arterioles, not the arteries because we're talking on an alveolar level. So the pressure in the arteri arterioles and the pressure in the veins. So, in the first region, if we draw an alveolus representing each region like that, here we have Let's draw them the other way around. So we have the arteries first. So we have here arteriolar blood and here venous blood. And then we have arteriolar blood and venous blood. And finally, We have arteriolar and venous like that. So what are the differences here? See, the pattern goes like this. In the beginning, we have the alveolar pressure being more than all kinds of hydrostatic pressure. So we have the alveolar pressure more than the arterial or the arteriolar more than the venous pressure in the first region. So the upper part. And then in the second part, the alveolar pressure is in between, is between the arteriolar and the venous. 
So the arteriolar is the most, and then the alveolar pressure, and then the venous pressure in the middle part. And finally, in the lowest part of the lung, due to the gravity, we said that this, hypothetically speaking, should be the most irrigated or the most perfuse part of the lung with blood, which is true. So we have the hydrostatic pressures being the arterial more than the venous, more than the alveolar. The arteriolar pressure more than the venous, more than the alveolar pressure. Matter of fact, this part happens to be 10 times more perfused than the upper part. So basically, this is the system of, per of lung perfusion with blood. The factors that would affect the perfusion of the lungs are most likely hypoxia. So hypoxia, which means low oxygen in the alveoli, this will affect the perfusion of the lungs at most compared to any vasomotor factors. So this one is the most important factor compared to other vasomotor factors affecting the lung perfusion. So that was our lesson for today. I hope it was easy and clear. Next time we'll start talking about pathologies, we'll talk about tuberculosis. So until then I thank you for watching and see you. Click here to subscribe in order to be notified when new medical video tutorials are uploaded and to check the older videos of medical tutorials and also high school tutorials.